You're listening to Bay of Islands Radio Original Podcast. Incoming transmission. Beam aboard for another episode of Sunday Night Geek, live from the Bay of Islands Radio Studio in Waterbrook, Newfoundland. Find us online at boir.ca and by subspace transmission 100.1 FM or on Rogers Channel 9. Join our hosts, Angel Sky Cosplay, Sean the Tech Ninja, and the Big Dirty Nerd as they travel through time and space, review all the nerd news this week, talk about things nobody ever talks about, and answers questions no one asks. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Sunday Night Geek. I am the Big Dirty Nerd, Jeff, and there we go. Got to adjust the volume on the headsets a little bit. They were down mm. too low. Uh, so yeah, so new episode, Big Dirty Nerd, uh, and we've got Angel Sky. Hi. We've got Toby. Toby. Who's not going to say a word? No, no he's not. not. His other bit of Tim Horton. Yeah. Not, not until uh, not until he says the person himself. Yeah, he's looking right. at the bag itself. And we've got Sean. Hello. Uh, yeah, so we're all here again tonight, uh, celebrating another week of geeky goodness, and yeah, Toby. and enjoying this weather. This cooler weather or the warmer well, weather? Both of it, really. I hate it. Th- no, I hate it. Th- I, <laughs> the heat. I, 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 I got to tell you, man. The old so man of me, because my arthritis <laughs> is like, oh, I don't feel any pain <laughs> moving around. Okay. I was loving Stop it. I was, but, like, I'm used, to, I was, I'm used to growing up in heat, just not this humidity. Yeah, the humidity was awful I'm, this I'm week. I'm used to a lot more heat than this. <laughs> He's drooling on me. That's what he does. He's a He's dog. Drooling. But, yeah, but then uh, we, we got to see a couple of shows, et cetera, which we can get into. Yeah, it was the first week in two weeks that we didn't go to a movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's nothing playing that we want to see right now. I guess. A couple of shows been on though. Yeah, a couple of shows. The, the before we get oh. into any shows though, let's uh, let's break down some news. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, let's talk about Anthony Mackie has signed on officially for Captain yeah. America Four. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be great. Can't wait to see him in full screen action. Um, what's her name? Gemma from um, Agent okay. Shield is signed on for Secret Invasion. Signed on for Secret Invasion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, that's that's going to be a lot of good news there too. And apparently, Kevin Feige mentioned uh, last week that they're working on a Secret Wars project. Yeah. So, uh, lots of interesting news coming you down see, the pipes. You see the big joke about the new Spider-Man movie, that there's still no trailer? Yeah, everybody's... St- like, seriously, like, like the movie's going to be out before the trailer yeah. comes out, yeah. Like, it's just... I like, think there's release just, the trailer! I think they're just looking at it as like, this, any of this will give this away kind of thing, maybe? Possibly. It may be that bonkers? Well, it you know, it, it kind of... Because we've seen Scarlet Witch, we've seen Loki, so we kind of mm. know what's going on. Multiverse of Madness is supposed to kind of tie all that mm-hmm. up, but Spider-Man: uh, No Way Home yeah. comes out before Multiverse of Madness. So, so realistically, so the main you, multiverse. Yeah, probably. like if, if you if you drop too many trailer hints, yeah, you're right. You're going yeah. to ruin it. That's what I mean because you know Flash is trying to be like that too because you know there's going to be bonkers yeah. as well. Because same thing. Like well, uh, was it? Um, Michael Keaton said he had to read the script. Over and, and over, over and, and over. over and over yeah. again because it just he was just trying to wrap his mind around all the multiversal. Just uh, he, he didn't understand a thing about it. Yeah, he didn't understand a thing about yeah. it. So well, he said too, like the only superhero movie he's seen is his movies. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he didn't even didn't indicate if he saw Spider Man when he was in. Well, yeah, yeah and, it's and just, it just makes me as a as a geeky person though. It just like before even all this multiverse and thing came like. Doesn't anybody know about alternate universes? Yeah. Like, like if you explain it that way, the multiverse Me, is basically six years old, Crisis on Infinite Earths. <laughs> but, but not but even, even not, not even, even comic that. books, yeah. and it's not a, even a comic book thing. It's like, you know, it, it's just you know alternate. It's been well, a I mean, trope for realities. a long time. Well, not just a trope, not even storytelling trope, but like mo- mainstream modern day physics has postulated there are multiple universes, yeah. right? multiple alternate realities. Right. It's just it's just that your decisions affect what happens. Yeah. So if you make a different decision, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Like if so many years ago I decided not to come home from Ontario. Yeah. Like that would be a different Angela. Yeah. I'd be a variant. You'd be a variant, yeah, exactly, right? Like, so it's you know, it's kind of it's kind of interesting that you watch these movies that are so ingrained in science fiction, I know, it's just and they don't have like science. A lot of them don't like have science fiction. Star themes. Trek did a lot of it. Star, Star Trek, Trek did a lot of it. Uh, Stargate, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, like a lot of these series, like sci-fi series, did stuff about like alternate realities mm. and alternate timelines and things yeah. like that. Like, it's not just like Marvel. 
Well, DC, or DC. DC's been mm-hmm. doing it since the 50s. I know, but it's not just Marvel yeah. or DC. Yeah. So yeah. even That's if you're I mean. not a comic book person or a superhero person, you yeah. should you have pulps. some knowledge yep. of, okay, it's it's like, oh, okay, so your multiverse thing is like alternate reality thing. Okay. It just makes me kind of weird that there are people out there that don't. That can't understand can't, this. Can't thing. get their head around it. And, yeah. and Michael Keaton, uh, back to what Sean was saying, mm. uh, reading the script time and time again because he didn't understand what was going on. He also has no idea how big of a character the Vulture is in the Spider-Man universe. <coughs> he has no idea. Like, you're talking about one of Spidey's big bads. And he was like, yeah, whatever, I don't know who that is. Well, that. okay, well, you did a good job portraying him, so... You must he know is something. a good actor. Well, he is a good actor. Yeah. So. Birdman. Have you guys ever seen Birdman? I never got to yet, and I, I heard it's pretty good. Amazing. Mm. It is a mind bleep yeah, of a movie. Because it has a psychological thing yep. on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll make your head go boom. Yeah. We watched a couple of things here besides just the um, usual shows. Oh, well, let's, before we get into that, I want to talk about something really, really quick here that we, we talked about off air a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so last week, uh, if, you, if you've been on the internet <laughs> uh, in the last two years during the pandemic, this site popped up, I don't know how long it's been around, but this site popped up called OnlyFans. It, 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 became, it became more known. Toby. I say it became more known. It became more known yeah. uh, because people were... Flocking to OnlyFans. Okay, uh, so OnlyFans yeah, you, made just, its reputation yeah. as a naughty website. Naughty website. That's a good way to put it. But it was like very much boutique. You could go find yeah. people and yeah. they had certain different levels of pay or it's even like, free, etc. And, yeah. and and the, one of the one of the things on there was that um, people that are in the <laughs> sex worker industry yeah. um, Which is legitimate work. Yeah, it is. It, right? A friend of mine called it horny Patreon. Horny Patreon, that's a good right. way of putting it. So yeah. so they they make their living off of OnlyFans. Off of content they produce for right. OnlyFans. So like we were watching Philip DeFranco the other night, yep. which is a YouTube person that does news yep. and stuff. Yep. Um, and he was talking, doing an interview with one of those people from the site. And she was like, I do photo shoots for my page I, to produce content. She said, so I hire people that do my hair and my yeah. makeup and my photographers. Yeah, it's a production. And, yeah, it's and like it's, YouTube, like anything else. Yeah. Right? I hire these people. They rely on me for their income. And I make my income through this website. Yeah. So if they ban my content on this website, then I no longer can provide just not even for myself before all these other people that I employ. That's right. And so that kind of leads into the what because you, you kind of hinted at it. Yeah. So OnlyFans dropped the memo last week that they're banning explicit content sexual on their content. platform. Explicit sexual content. Which is exactly what the site tailored to when yes. it started up. Yes. So the reasoning behind this, apparently from the CEO of, of the company that owns OnlyFans, is the company last year, uh, between all the creators and the company itself, made $53 billion mm-hmm. last year. Yeah. $53 billion. And the big banks that handle that kind of transactions won't deal with the company because of the sort of work that they're involved in. Okay, so that doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. It's because Only, of conservative but, money. It's conservative money. But That's it doesn't, a good way of it. But it doesn't make sense because there are other websites out there. Making just as much. Making, I'm sure, just as much money yeah. that deal with somebody. Yeah, that have to deal with somebody <laughs> to process these transactions. I, I'm sure, I'm sure. And, and I don't want to name any sites online because they're all like... Smexy kind of sites. Yeah, yeah. We're not, not going to name but any of those, them. But those those yeah. particular kind of sites, I'm sure, bring in lots of money. Yeah. So where do they go to bank? Yeah. yeah. Where do they go to bank? <laughs> the bank of George down the street. <laughs> and the bank of my mattress. <laughs> the bank of my mattress. But it, stuff in mattresses. It, with you money. know, it blew up, when this dropped. It blew up on Twitter and oh, Instagram. Yeah. Like it uh, melted the internet. Yeah. Right. You it's, know, here it's, it's like that robot chicken. Like, don't go messing with the porn, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Let's be real. But it's a, it but if a, you're taking you're taking the reason that the site was as popular as it was ooh. was because of the content. Yes. So yeah. now that you've become well known, and other people that don't post that same kind of content on your site want to be there, 
now you've decided that you're going to like shove the people that made you Ma- as big made as you, you are site as big as what it is. As you are aside yeah. because oh well yeah. we don't I'm need all, you no more. Yeah. I'm already seeing people in comment sections on just like regular social media n- mentioning the others you can go to. Yes, cuz yeah. there are more. There yeah. are, there are more. Probably not as well run. It's what McDonald's did with Ronald McDonald. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, well, you, Ronald yeah, McDonald, make him big. It's, it made him big, and then made they dropped him. Big, him. And then they dropped that it's, clown. It's, you know, that was mm-hmm. one of the comments I saw. It's kind of like, and in more news, or in breaking news, <laughs> McDonald's will no longer serve the Big Mac. Or yeah. no longer serve the hamburger. Right? Like, it's what made your franchise. It's yeah. what made your your business. And yeah. you're, you're, you're literally, based on this decision, you're destroying your own business model. Cheesecake, yeah. fa- cheesecake Factory will no longer be serving cheesecake. cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Tweet ain't gonna be selling weed no more. Yeah, tweet ain't gonna be selling no weed no more, right? Like, no now, guys, you know we're, we're making Just fun of this. We're, yeah. we're, we're, <laughs> we're making fun of this guy, so you know, tweet will sell weed. Big no, they won't. Not in Newfoundland. No, not in Newfoundland. Not Newfoundland. <laughs> but anyway, it's you know, it, it it shook up the internet a little bit, you know, and these content creators are losing their minds because when the pandemic hit, a lot of these content creators put a lot of their effort into yeah. their productions, yeah. yeah, and they made good money, yeah, mm-hmm. and they. Good and legal money. Yeah. yeah. And now it's going to be taken away from them. Yeah. It's just like sexy commission work, et cetera, kind of thing, really. Well, like, it. at the end of the day, like, you're not peddling an illicit things of any sort. At the end no. of the day, I, I don't care what anybody says, it, it's, you have it out there, the people are going to, people are going to find it. People are going to find it. Whether, whether you make it or someone else makes it, there's always going to be a market for it. Yeah. So if these people can make a living off it, good for them. Yeah. Right, they're Dude. not they're not doing anything illegal. No, mm. right. It's like all between, hopefully, consenting adults. Yeah. Right. So why not? Yeah. If some guy wants to pay some girl for her bathwater, let her do it. And that actually happened on <laughs> I think it was Instagram or Tumblr yeah something, or something like that. Something. <laughs> I know. Anyway, but, but, if, that, but that, if, that's, that's a little bit too much for me. But, but if but a guy yeah. wants to do it, let him do it. Or if a girl it. wants to do it or for a girl, guy, yeah. Right? Let or him do if it. or if there's people out there that sell you shoes, yeah. <laughs> To, to people. To people. <clears throat> right. Like, because they want their used shoes. Yeah. I got to find that site. Me too. Uh, I, I want, like, I got big I'm, feet. I'm not a foot, <laughs> I'm not a foot person. I'll so box them up all real hey nice like from. Hey, man, I got about, I got about 20 pairs of used shoes at home. <laughs> Anybody's welcome to have. They're just taking up space. Yeah. Email. <laughs> <laughs> Drop your email well, right there. <laughs> there is a such thing as furniture erotica in those sites. Yep, so, yep, yeah, there is. And I mean, OnlyFans <sighs> tailored a lot to, yeah. like you said earlier, the niche categories, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. People were doing custom commissions. Yeah. Yeah. So, Some I mean, people right? just if people want to spend their money on that. milk on themselves. Yeah. Or so I'm told. Yeah. Or so <laughs> you're told. Yeah. I have no experience with this whatsoever. But if people want to spend, if other people want to spend their money on these sort of things, fair enough. Yeah. Let these people make money. Who right. cares? Who cares? Yeah, right. Like, Who cares? And the thing, like, like I said at the top of the conversation, like I'm a firm believer that sex work is legitimate work. Mm. So, so much so that it's actually taxed more than the <laughs> church. Well, yeah. Right, because the church is not taxed. No. Right? So, you know, if, if you're taxing someone, you are recognizing the fact mm. that it's legitimate work. And I firmly believe that sex work is legitimate work. Taking this away well, they're taking, is, is going to hurt. Like they're, said, and it's going to hurt the platform. They're going to take it away, but it's not just the people they of some... It's not just some Joe Schmo in his basement making videos for someone. Or no. making or it's some a, some lady making pictures with her phone to put yeah. on mm. on Instagram. It's like... Although there's people that there's people that yeah. do that anyway, yeah, but there's other people that have thousands and I mean, equipment and stuff like that. They're they're putting out some of these people are putting out quality photos and mm-hmm. and paying people to do this kind of thing. You're you're taking away people's jobs yep. at a time mm-hmm. that job security is not so secure. Yeah. It's an industry. It's an industry, and these people are you know entrepreneurs, entrepreneurial. Yeah. You know, so you know they're selling. They're, they're selling sex. Well, it was right? like that. It was like that big controversy there a little while ago when they were talking about cosplay. Yeah, they were the talking about one. cosplay and saying, "Well, you know, you're technically you're cosplaying someone else's someone else's characters. Someone else's so IP you're not allowed to yeah. to do prints, and you're not allowed to yeah. represent it. It's like you're taking away all these people's hard work that mm-hmm. they've been doing, yeah. and creating an interest in your." Now, okay, so we're, we're, we're kind of shifting the conversation here yeah. a little bit now. So, you you know, for, for cosplayers, you're creating an interest in the 
uh, producer's content. Yes. Right? Like, so if you're cos- like, like you cosplayed as um, Evil Lynn. Yes. So by you doing that, by that token alone, you have created interest in Masters of the Universe. Yeah. So Hasbro shouldn't look at you and go, you can't do that, Angel Sky. They should be going, thank you, Angel Sky. Well, a lot you of know. people, when they're talking about, th- see, that always comes into a very sticky category when it comes to a lot of geeky things. Because yeah. a lot of geeky things are based on shows and things that are not their own property. No, that's right. right. Yeah. So you're talking about cosplay, mm. fan fiction, fan art, like all that kind of stuff. Commission right? work. Commission right? work. Commission yeah. work. Like, you get into a lot of very gray area. If you look at it black and white, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, if you look at it strictly black and white. Right? Yeah. But, like you said, like, same with streaming and things like mm, that. Mm-hmm. People stream game content game all the time. Game content all the time. And and if if those companies looked at them and said, no, you cannot do that, which some have, right? Uh, it's like, well, this person is watching this game, and these people playing this game. They're not making any money off it. And, well, they may be. Well, okay. Right? Yeah, like, be, yeah. you know, Twitch streamers and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Okay, true enough. Right? But... Then they're going to look at the game and go, I want to play that game. Yep. And then they buy that game. Yep. That's why Nintendo does it straight up that if you're doing it, they take a third of your revenue. Okay. Yep. That kind of makes sense. But then you get a pass for it. Yeah, you get a, you, you're you allowed to do it. You got the, you got the so, red seal. Somebody, had to, bring up, somebody had to bring up that. See, with a video game, you're only paying for the license to use the game for home use. You are not. Right. You don't have a commercial license. Yeah, it's license the same with like, movies and Because the and channel stuff. is also a business, and you don't have a commercial license yeah. for using that, yeah. which is a totally different thing. Yeah. It's like somebody I knew that was... Uh, Mad because they had a commercial made for their business, and they used a licensed song. They said, "Well, I have Spotify, anyways." And everybody told them, "No, you, that's personal use. That's, that's not commercial use. use. Yeah, and it, it is. doesn't. That doesn't give you sun off for using a specific song commercially. No. But a lot of these. Mm. But a lot of but these now, fan, outfits are different. But yeah. a lot of these fan based things that people do create interest in the product that is being there. Well. I mean, this this kind of really hit the fan, especially for so do you people. Think, do you think they're only, like, well, back to OnlyFans, do okay. you think they're really going to do that? Or did they do it just to get I, it out further? Uh, I'm wondering. I don't, I don't know. Is it just that a controversy? They, they got to look at their numbers long term. They do this and they drop off that and, like, the amount of business that is just that. They won't make $65 they, billion dollars they, this year. Look they at, won't look make at, uh, $6 million if they're not yeah. careful. Uh, they'll, they'll be the next Tumblr. Well, that's yeah. what they're always saying. They're the next Tumblr. Now, Tumblr is a little bit different because Tumblr was a free platform. Platform. It was. Um, so, in in my opinion, there they kind of had like we were but, using but it. Tumblr. But Tumblr, okay. Yeah. But they you, ha- you have to you have to think. Yeah. Is traffic. that? Yes, they they, they do. It's like it's like kind of like Facebook. Tumblr. Yeah, was. Yeah, Tumblr was right. It was more but, of a micro blogging site kind of thing. Yes, yeah. but Live Journal was that way too. Yeah. It went Live Journal. Then it Live went Tumblr. Journal. So then, yeah. like, at, and the thing is, is if if they do kill it, something else is going to take its place. Something yeah. else is going to take something its place. Something else is going to tweak its model. Yep. And yep. a lot of them already have. Yep. And they're like, we're big enough. We don't need investors. Yeah. You can see one probably being even started by one of the other companies, like actual oh, sure. mainstream companies, like P Word Hub, et cetera, yep. I'm going to say. But yeah. That's what I mean. Like the the vacuum will be filled. It yeah. will. Yeah. If they if they do this, they're they're shooting themselves in the foot. As Tom from MySpace, how he's doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tom from MySpace. My God, remember that? In your top five. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. you I had ever, high five. Did you ever see that meme about uh, <laughs> the uh, somebody had tweeted or posted that you know uh, maybe maybe Twitter should be like uh, have a intro song when you hit their page? Oh <laughs> and God. It's like, looks like we've reached peak peak. Age of nobody who's heard of MySpace. Yeah, MySpace. God, I hated MySpace. I can't uh, remember or the, if or I the, had or one. the website, Friends, the free was website. Another. What was it? Um, GeoCities. GeoCities. I had GeoCities. A GeoCities. GeoCities account where you had the flashing words yeah. and the and the scrolly visitor song yeah. and, the and the visitor the counter. Players. Oh my God, it was awful. And the MIDI players. We, we've and just think that was Gifts. that was like fifteen years ago. No, that was no like a little bit more, more like twenty. Okay, twenty years ago. Okay. Whoa. I had a Geo Cities. I made it back in ninety nine. Ninety nine. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. More like twenty. That, years, was, yeah. the, that was the. That was that the was the shit back then. That was. That was. Everybody. Like, loved everybody it. had it. Yeah. And 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 if you didn't know how to make a Geo Cities page, oh, you that was cool. It. You weren't cool. All you had to do was you cheat and thing. go to Word Perfect. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah Word yeah, Perfect yeah. at the time had a WYSIWYG editor. But yeah. you know what? Geo Cities was great for people that kind of want to do a little HTML coding. Yeah. Mm. 
but didn't really know what they were doing. Yeah. All you had to do is switch it over to code view and that, and you yeah. could see like all your code and copy yeah. and paste it in places. Yeah. Because I used to do a switch between that. It's like you do the WYSIWYG drive and link. It's like, oh, I need this in three or four more places. Like, control V, control V, control oh, V. Oh, yeah, it's easy yeah. peasy. Like right. HTML. That was, that was the thing, right? <sighs> How to, how to write how, how to write HTML. They just made their, their web pages back in the day with Notepad. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's how I learned how to do HTML. Stupid. Was Notepad. Like, just boom. Yep. Banging out code. I know, when, but it was when just I, when like... I started, when I started on the whole web design trend or whatever yeah. it was, like, that's how we... There was none yeah. of this visual garbage. It was... Yeah. Open tag, H1, close tag, mm. blah, 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 yeah. blah, you know. Yeah, and like, then you forget a cl- close tag. You forget a close and you're tag. Like, and, you, and your, and your whole page goes, goes down. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> you try to change one thing and your whole page goes down because yeah. you forgot a close tag. Western world problems right there. Or you forgot, <laughs> an, if you, or if you got a, you forgot something like an equal sign or something. Or something like that, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Thankfully, God. the OnlyFans model doesn't have to observe that. <laughs> no, no, exactly, yeah. So moving on from from the uh, from that little piece of uh, news this week, we'll see how that all pans out. The the date for that is September first, mm-hmm. so it's only a couple of weeks. We'll see what's going to happen. We'll see what's going to happen. Yeah. We, we, in the pudding. We may or may not come back to this topic. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Whatever. If we've got nothing else to talk about, so uh, mm-hmm. what else was going on this week? So there's lots. There was a lot of cool lot, stuff lots on of this shows. Uh, mm-hmm. What do we want to start? We want to start with what if? What if? Mm-hmm. What if? That would have been good as an actual series. That episode, yeah, okay, I so, would have loved to have seen so this. What if, okay, what, so what spoilers if this week. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Well, it's not so big a spoiler because really, it, we're almost a week out now. So you should watch right it right now. Seven yeah. and nine was in it. I'll get back to that one in a minute. Oh yeah, you know, I know. Anyway, what you're you should. <laughs> You should have watched it by now. Yeah, you should have yeah, watched it by, watch by now. It's a um, show, not a movie. We give a week for a movie, but a day for a show. Yeah, yeah. that's so, the rules. I don't make them. So uh, yeah, so it was about T'Challa. T'Challa. Which is the last voice acting yep. gig of the last gig period by he, Chadwick Boseman? He uh, signed as soon as they uh, went into production with this. He signed on to do this episode because he knew he did not have much time left, mm-hmm. yeah. and he wanted one last hurrah for T'Challa. Yeah. Huzzah! He could sit in a chair at least. Oh my goodness! He, yeah. but the T'Challa in this episode was like the perfect Star Lord. Yeah. He was yeah. like the perfect star. He was literally a star. Lord. But that's the everybody thing. He was a celebrity. Everybody, yeah. everybody liked him. Yeah. Like for the, the that part in the temple and John and Anansu's character is yep. there. And he has the totally different reaction to, ooh, it's like the, oh ooh. my God, blow me he, up right he, now. He, yeah. I just love you. <laughs> he fangirled all over yeah. him. Yeah, he totally fangirled well, whole, over T'Challa. I love how the whole episode, that's his whole role. Like he's just. It's like, come on, join my group. Can I? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Okay, I'd rather, so I'd rather join you. I love how they take Thanos' little thing and make it a joke. His, oh, yeah. His yeah. whole thing yeah. about it's, his whole it's where he wanted real. to snap the universe. Well, it's it's sounds, not genocide that, because it's random. Yeah. That, <laughs> like, sounds, oh that God, sounds like dude. genocide to me, but yeah. it's not because it's random. And everybody was saying, like, that sounds like genocide. No, no, man, that and sounds Nebula's like genocide. like, oh, dad. Oh, dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, uh, Nebula is great. That's her, too. Apparently, Karen, Karen Gillum did that character. Everybody yeah. that was yeah. in the no, movies. No, not everybody. No. Dave no. Bautista wasn't. Chris Pratt wasn't. Yeah. But, like, Michael Rooker was in it. Yeah. Uh, Kurt Russell came yeah. back for Ego. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Kurt's Karen got a good work in relation with Disney. Yeah. Yeah. Good so, there was, there, you know, when you go through the cast list for that yeah. episode. They're still trying to have everybody there as much as they can. I oh, think, yeah, absolutely. I think it was with, uh, what was his name, was scheduling, and the other guy they didn't mention. They didn't mention. Dave <laughs> but, yeah, it was, it was quite an interesting. And you go back to see The Collector. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. And uh, the another one, Benicio del Toro, came and, back uh, and did his character. And Howard the Duck gave him a tour. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, and then my favorite part was at the end when they got on the ship, and uh, and the dog was and Cosmo there. Was there. Oh, the dog, yeah. Cosmo was yeah. there. I was like, oh, the yeah. dog. I'm going for a ride. Yeah. I go for a ride. Go look out the window. Look at the window. That was that was that was kind of neat. Because like, uh, at one point, Cosmo in the comics actually joins the Guardians. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. cute though. Like, he, and then one thing they never talk about. Sorry, Sean. Yeah. Yeah. he's telepathic. Yeah, uh, yeah. They never mention that in any of the. No, but he's telepathic. Go oh, ahead. Sorry. No, I just like some of the sequences and everything. Were like something you'd see in the movie, like when Thanos and Nebula are making their escape and going up the beanstalk and everything like that. When everything's just going to plan, yeah, as much as possible. The double double cross and all. So like it was well written. It was too. very well done. Yeah. It was very much like they took a slice right out of this awesome series and just showed it off. Yeah. Oh. Seven of Nine reference. Go ahead. Yeah, so Nebula is a little different in this. She mm-hmm. does have some parts, but not because of Daddy. But she has, like, long blonde hair and the whole eye thing over in Femme Fatale. Look up Seven of Nine. Seven of yep. Nine. She looks just yep. like Seven of Nine in she a does. dress. 
But she's like, bang, bang, shoot him up, and definitely into the stuff, too, which yeah. is great. I thought that was such a good reference. Oh, man. Is, is, oh, but it was just such a good show. Yeah. But it also showed how T'Challa as Star Lord like changed the universe. He mm. did. Like he convinced Thanos not to, to not do the snap. To do the snap. Not just that. Right. He it recruited sounds- him. He joined. And he recruited. Yeah. He it, joined. It sounds him. like genocide. <laughs> <laughs> it's just his little but running joke. Not. But you could just do this and make everything. No, Thanos. You just do we're that. Not doing genocide. But come on. Yeah. It's like, come on. Maybe a little genocide. No. Yeah, no. Oh my. No. But the Ravagers are like. You and caregivers they, they went, almost. Yeah, yeah. The they went from uh, they went from scrappers to Robin Hood. Yeah, yeah. They, they actually mentioned. And they Robin actually Hood. mentioned Robin Hood. Well, their big yeah. heist is that it's a seed cluster thing or something that can like just grow plants within a week to feed regenerate, a bunch of people. It's, regenerate it, uh, dead planets. Yeah, it was like the Genesis device from Star Trek. Yeah. yeah. But just like as a nice food crop kind of thing, and, like they, that's their whole thing. They want to feed like, the people. And it was like. Hey, see, Tan Thanos, you don't have to snap after all. We could just feed the whole universe. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah. Oh, you just yeah. make farm planets. Yeah. They're yeah. just dead there anyway. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, which is great. And yeah, it, it just it just felt like a good episode. It was as a, a feel movie. good episode. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then that little dedication. At I wonder the what end. next one is. I wonder if it's going to be feel good. Uh, next one, I think, is, is it Loki Sorcerer or Spider Dark? Supreme or something. Is it? I think so. Okay. I'm not, isn't I'm not, no, not isn't sure. Is it like the Dark Doctor Strange or. I'm not sure. I thought it was uh, where Spider-Man is maybe. a zombie hunter. Oh, maybe. So that would be very different. They're very, very different. I like those, though. Let's see what the next one is. I think is. he becomes the Sorcerer Supreme uh, and is a zombie hunter. I don't know if it... I'm not sure. I, I, don't, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Apparently there's going to be Scarlet Witch movie, they've, they've said. Really? Mm. Oh, I didn't hear that. But it's just developmental right now. Okay. So we'll find out. Well, I mean, Wanda has proven to be the powerhouse of the Marvel Universe, mm-hmm. of the MCU. So, right? She's so. a wellspring. Yep. Yep. Chaos I mean, energy, man. She <clears throat> channels it. I was thinking about it there the other day. Like, really, what's her name? Didn't have any power against her. It's just that Wanda Ooh, was so... What, what's uh, her name? Agatha. Agatha, okay. Because Wanda's powers were actually really high levels. She just... Yeah. Was l- only just learning how to access them. There was no manual. Now she has a manual. Now she has a manual. Yeah. Literally, the dark hold. She yep. gave her a yep. whole manual. Yep, what? No, no. Oh, I thought you were oh. saying yeah. Confirming. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, that's the thing, and that's why I can't wait to see that Multiverse of Man. There's going to be stuff about oh, that. Oh, it's going to be so good. Oh. It's going to be so, so good. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next couple. Well, Multiverse of Madness doesn't come out until 2022. You see the new trailer for Eternals, the final trailer? Yes! Mm-hmm. Looks really good. I so, mean, he's not blonde, but I mean, I won't fault him for that. The, for Icarus? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like, that's great. Although he looks a lot like Bucky. Yeah, he kind of does. Yeah, he kind of has that Bucky yeah. look to him. Right? Yeah. Him and uh, what's his name too um, from Star Trek. Oh, is that our? I think that's a call coming in. So call let's uh, in. let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get the caller on the line. Thank you for calling Bay Bonds Radio. You're on the air with the big dirty nerd Angel Sky and Sean. Hello. 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 And they're uh, gone. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, they hung up. Goodbye. And I think the line is dead. I think so, too. Well, we'll, le- we'll leave it up, so if they call back, we can just hit the button and get okay. them on the air. Cool. Uh, yeah, the Eternals final trailer looks really good. We're getting a lot of Marvel this fall. We're getting a lot of Marvel this fall. Uh, yeah. Shang-Chi, then Eternals, Which then Spider-Man. Which is next week, yeah. Yep. Next week, that's right. Yeah. Shang-Chi, uh, yeah. No, I, they're all a month apart. You guys can go if you want. I'm going to be out I of town. Might. I might. I like, I like, I like uh, what they used to call them back in the day, kung fu movies, but yeah. they're all different martial arts movies. But, yeah, but what I'm saying is I'm going to be out of town, so yeah. if you guys want to go on opening night, I'll catch up. What? <laughs> what? For, what? Sh- for Shang-Chi. Oh. Yeah, and The Legend of the Ten Rings. Oh. And I'm wondering if we're going to see any Iron Man references in this movie, because The Ten Rings is Yeah, it's the Mandarin. Yeah, yeah, it's the Mandarin, but it's also what was in the first movie, like The Ten Rings yeah, were the group the that captured group. Tony Stark. Mm. So, I'm wondering if we're going to see anything. I'm still wondering, too. Oh, uh, apparently, Rhodey is going to be doing a series, Armor Wars. War Machine is. I was reading something about that, too. Real? Is it animated, or is it live action? I don't know. That's apparently Disney nope. Plus, though. It's going to be a series. Oh, so it's going to be a series. It says, uh, an official plot synopsis has not been released for Marvel's What If Episode 3. This was five days ago. Okay. Uh, but we do know that the third episode will focus on Loki as he rules on Earth. Interesting. Yep. Maybe the Avengers lost, kind of thing. Yeah, it could be. What if the Avengers lost? Yeah. Well, yeah, he would have been. New York. Well, you see him in the fight with the collector, all the different or, things that he had. Or if there was no Avengers. Or if there was no Avengers. Mm-hmm. 
Because if there was no Avengers, then there's no, like any anything could have happened that 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 Avengers wouldn't have like everything had to fall into place for the Avengers to be there for New York. Yeah. Right. Yep. So. Makes you kind of wonder because in the comics, Loki actually was the catalyst for the Avengers, mm. much like in the MCU. Mm-hmm. So it kind of makes you wonder, was he behind it the whole time and didn't realize it? Like, was he putting stuff in motion? See, I think that was the whole... No, I think that was the whole point of the Loki show. Was Loki was the catalyst for everything that happened. Yep. So this is why he had to do what he did and be the bad guy. Because he makes the Avengers. And this is why I think that Sylvie in Loki was taken... Because she was not the bad guy. She wasn't going to, like, be like Lo- our Loki mm. and, like, turn on Asgard and all this kind of stuff. Like, she was going to be the hero. And you can't have Loki as a hero. He Loki has hero. to be a bad guy. Well, he eventually becomes a eventually hero. eventually becomes good. Yeah. But he has to have that arc or else... Because if he doesn't, like, if he had not... If he had lived through Thanos' Thanos's attack... Right when Thanos like, killed him, yep. mm-hmm. if he had lived through that, then Thor wouldn't have had the drive to kill Thanos like he did, because he didn't see his brother mm-hmm. like taken, yep. and then they wouldn't have got the Hulk off the ship, mm-hmm. and he wouldn't have joined the Guardians, and he wouldn't have went to get a Thanos killing weapon. Like it all takes place because of Loki, right. cause, because of what Loki did. Right. If there was no Loki to get the Avengers together, then we wouldn't have the timeline that we have. And even, you're absolutely right, because even as we see in the first Avengers movies, they don't really like each other all no, that much. not at all. Right? Like, Stark and Rogers and Thor. Thor is only there to get Loki. He's only there to get Loki. That's it. Yeah, because he, he comes to Earth and they're fighting in the park. Yeah. Because he's trying to get Loki. Yeah. Does those mother know if those has those drapes or something? Yeah, whatever, whatever he said. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And yeah. they have the big yeah, yeah battle yeah. in the park. Yeah. Battle in the park. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only reason. It's the only reason that so the Avengers Lo- get together. Loki is the architect of the MCU. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. he's the catalyst. He's the catalyst. Right. That's why I think that Sylvie was taken from her timeline because she was talking about being heroes and Valkyries and when she was playing, and I think at that point. She was not going to be a villain. I think she was supposed to be... She was going to grow up to be, like, a hero. A hero. Like Thor. I, we didn't see a Thor. I don't know if there was a Thor in her timeline. Don't know. But she was on her, the wrong path to be, like, more of a hero figure. I buy that. Yep. I buy that. And that's why she was taken from her timeline. Yep. I would buy that. Yeah. Yep. Because Loki... Ha- like, Mobius even said, Loki, you have you have to be bad. You, you all, It always will be. You always have to be. Yep. You have to be the villain. Yep. And uh, that, that's kind of interesting that we're, we're kind of talking about the variants and whatnot as well here now because at the, in the first episode of the Loki series, yep. we see there's a, there's a rumor going around that we see Agent Carter getting dragged, hauled yep. through a portal and yeah. taken into yeah. the judge's room. There, what the big rumor going around now is, or the big speculation going around now is, is that's actually Agent Carter it could be. from the What If episode. It could be. It, could, it was actually Captain Carter, not Agent Carter. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, actually, maybe it's not Captain Carter. Maybe it is Agent Carter. Before. Because Agent Carter, remember, deviated off her path as soon as she went onto the floor. Yes. So if the realistically, the time the time police, as it were, the yeah. time, right? The time bureau. The time would have, police. Is would have mine. picked her up the moment that she made the decision to stay on the floor. Stay on the floor, yeah. Before she even got anything to do with yep. being Captain Marvel. Yep. Captain, Captain Marvel. Captain, uh, Captain Carter. Carter, yeah. Yeah. And you just said Marvel. Uh, production on the Marvels has started. Mm-hmm. So we're going to see Captain yeah. Marvel. We're going to see... Yeah, they came with the The Eternals. Castles. They got a new trailer for the, the Eternals. Eternals. Yeah. yeah, we were talking we, about that. We talked about that. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, Captain there's Marvel... five or six of them. Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of them. There's Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. There's Photon. Uh, there's Miss Marvel, um, and there's Freak a couple here, more. Whatever they call, yeah. she calls herself the one from uh, WandaVision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's they've given her a name. I thought it was Photon. No, they they. they I thought in the casting that she has a different name. Now oh, maybe, she, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. Monica Rambeau. Anyway, that's yeah. that's who it's going to be. Yeah. 
So, uh, interesting stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on in the Marvel, Marvel MCU right now. So, yeah. it's uh, going to be a lot of fun to see what's going to happen. Well, they had a bottleneck because of COVID. Now everything's yeah. coming down the pipe. No, it, no, yeah, it's like the dam all of a sudden burst. It's like, here you go. <laughs> Here's all the things. Here's all the things. But Eternals, I'm looking forward to Eternals. Yeah, the new trailer's um, good. I like the MCU stuff that I don't know much about. And I know very little, believe it or not, I know very little about the Eternals. That's good. Right? So this I is gonna be a, this is going to be a whole new thing I, for me. I get it because you're not expecting anything. Yeah. No, exactly. Right? I don't know That's what to think. That's the thing. You, you don't... You go into, it, it's really bad when you go into a movie or you go in to watch a show and it's based off something that you really love, like really love. And so when they start changing things, you're like, oh man, I don't like that. Oh man, I don't yeah. like that too. Yeah. So if you go into it really not knowing what to expect, you kind of enjoy it a little more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, like hate to say it, but but. I know people that loved Avatar The Last Airbender movie because Ew. I know it's awful. But Ew. they didn't know they didn't never watch didn't the cartoon. Know the source material. Yep. Didn't watch the cartoon. So yeah. it's like it's like okay, go go watch the cartoon and you will understand why the fans hate it so much. Oh, and they did put speaking of which, apparently they announced some of the cast for the, for the Netflix series. Live series. For the for the live series. For the okay, live series yeah. on Netflix. Good stuff. And it looks like they're going really nice with a lot of nice ethnic people. Good. As good. it should be. As it should be. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully now they pronounce all the names right yeah. and I'll be good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Get that, you, you put, get that stuff right. If you if you put the names right, you got you know, you got the look, you're good. Now pronounce the names right. And don't change your characters. Yep. Make them act like they're supposed to act. Yep. And we'll be fine. And this is one of the things uh, that I'm really enjoying about the she Princesses of Power series. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't put any extra emphasis. Like, uh, Double Trouble? Yeah. Mm. They. Like, yeah. there's, there's, and nobody blinks an eye. Yeah. It, you know, they Double Trouble like is they. They society if they're not doing anything. That, well, they do this because of that. No, they don't. Yeah, they no. just treat it like it's a society. They, they, do, they, they just, just treat it like it's a thing. They, they yeah. just treat it like it's a thing. Like, yeah. this is perfectly normal. And I love, absolutely love yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Well, why not? To them, it is. To yeah. them, it is. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right? And the fact that Bo's got two dads. Yeah. They didn't do any didn't kind of know. explanation. It was just, I've got two dads. Boom. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. We got to go meet my dads. Yeah. And, like, there was not even, there was not even like, yeah. It wasn't even an eye blink. It wasn't even like, like. Because Glimmer knows, obviously, she grew up with Bo. Yeah. But he didn't even explain to she like, Adora. He didn't say, yeah, so, you know, I got two dads. Yeah. I don't have a mom. I have yeah. two dads. I have two right? There's none of that. None of that. No. no. It was just, come meet my two dads. Yeah. 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 And, like, I wonder, the, is he, the whole unrequited love between Scorpia he, and, uh, although, and although, Catra. Although, mm -hmm. he does have two dads. But he looks like his two dads. So he's, I don't think he's adopted. No, they, they're they super science, so... Yeah, theory, did they theory, make him? I'm thinking the theory and technology. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, too. Like, they yeah. made him, made him. Like, did yeah. they, did they so make they, him, make him? He didn't yeah. say anything about being adopted or anything no. like that. No, that's no. what I mean. He doesn't... Well, he doesn't look like he's adopted. No. He definitely looks like one of his, Like, either one of his fathers, really. <coughs> um, so... Oh God, but I'm like, did they make him? <coughs> did they have a surrogate? Like, how did... Like, I don't know. I don't but, know. Anyway. They probably have full generation technology. I like have they no do idea. clones very openly in this. Yeah. Very kind of openly. So I mean, like, so it's probably they probably had a home chamber kit that they bring home I and just, they submit. I'm just curious. It's probably like, to the point they're 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 they're. Did they're, one of them have it? No, they probably get a little kit. They stick their finger in each. They get the DNA, and then it grows. And, I know. And then it's a baby, and you buy it at your local Walmart. But but did one don't of the buy anything like that at maybe, Walmart? It will break in the first <laughs> well, four hours. Well, they, before they, even well, get maybe, home. Maybe maybe yeah. one of his dads carried him. Maybe they have the talk that will you do that? It's possible. Though they've, no they've kind of proved it, as a matter of fact, with like that lady that had a baby outside of her womb. It was in the organ cavity and came full term. They just had C-section. That was it. Yeah. So, like, did did was it like, was it like, what was it, the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Well, oh, Junior. Was junior. it like Junior? Yeah. Kind of was. They were kind of like, it wasn't, it was her, it ended up being her I'm just, thing. I'm just wondering his, about both. Was yeah. it like Junior? Like, probably was it probably. a thing like that maybe I'm just like know. anything that, that they don't explain like that I'm just going ethereum it's technology like, it's like okay yeah or magic 
Magic. Oh, yeah. magic. Super Could science. be magic. Well, that too, maybe he's right? a magic baby. That's maybe, why he's. he's that's why baby. he is so miffed that and he does not, not have princess powers. And, yeah. just, and just to be clear, now we're not making light of the fact no. that it could be magic. We're making we're making we're a statement here based on the universe works. Wondering how this universe works. Yeah. How the universe works because on Ethereum, there's a clear dichotomy between magic and technology. Yes. Right. So you got to keep yes. that in mind. Right. So and, and it's and they don't work separately most times. No, they, they work, work together. together. Right. So so maybe maybe it was magic. Maybe it was magic. Yeah. Maybe Did that's why he's so magic? mad that he doesn't have magic powers. Yeah. It's like I was born with magic, so why don't I have magic? Why powers? don't I have magic? Right. Because, because it's probably pre- easier to make a normal person with magic. Probably. Yeah, instead probably. of having to instead pre-install magical abilities yeah. or anything. Right? Yeah. That's probably it. Yeah. It's probably a little boutique downtown. I'd be, get, get I, as, as a person, if I found out I was made with magic though, I would be pretty mad I wouldn't have magic powers. I think that hmm. that would just be annoying. That is fair. Yeah. I'd be like, man, I was made with magic. And I don't even have magic powers. Man, that blows. Yeah. Goes back to using <laughs> adi- goes back to using adding machine at well, menial job. Wouldn't that is that That's same me. thing like as uh, in Harry Potter? There's a, a cast where muggles. No, muggles? not not Squib? muggles. Squib. Squib. Yeah. Where it's two magic two people, magic make, people make, make, yeah, make a normal squib. person. Yeah, mm-hmm. squib. Yeah, it's a squib. That's yeah. the Filch's one. That's Filch's one. That's yes. right, yeah. Good yes. old David Bradley. Yeah. An absolute fantastic actor. Yes. But, uh, yeah, he's one. That when they when they don't have magical abilities, but they're born of a magical family. Right. Yep. Squib. That's what you'd be, I know. squib. I'd be mad. I'd be pissed. If I had two magical parents and I didn't have any magic, I'd be, yeah. I'd be pretty mad. Yeah. No wonder they're bitter and... Like Filch is. Mm. No wonder he's yeah. bitter. And here he is cleaning up after wizards. I know. And muggle-born wizards in some cases. Yeah. Jeez, I'd be pissed. Out. I know. I'd yeah. be. I'd be grumpy old man like You're him too. Darn right, my son. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, we we've chewed up like that was a fast forty-five minutes, yeah. man. We just flew by. Yeah. Uh, so lower decks. Let's talk about lower, lower decks. Deck. <laughs> okay. Before, Dude, before this we is go, not a no, puppet. No, no, no. Please read the song. Please, yeah. Hang on now. So I'm a mad Star Trek fan. Yeah. We all know this. I yes. have a tattoo with, you know, Star Trek. This episode had a reference that I actually had to go and friggin' Google. What was it? It was the thirty-foot Starfleet officer hanging from the collector's ceiling in his ship. It's a reference to an episode of the uh, animated series called The Infinite Vulcan, yes. where Spock gets cloned and turned into a 30-foot Vulcan. And this apparently is what happened to the clone after Kirk and Spock and the crew of the Enterprise left the planet and left the clone behind. <laughs> so that I was like, what's going on with this 30-foot Starfleet officer? What, what the hell's going on here? So I went back and looked it up, and I was like, oh... Oh, I well, just—I I, I I had to Google this. I, I didn't know this. I forgive you. It was the animated series. True, <laughs> true, true. It was the yeah, animated. It was series. the animated series. Anyway, let's talk about this episode right. because Ooh. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. So the Universal translators have been updated <laughs> a bit. Yeah, a little bit. Still okay. can't quite the, pick up on Tamaran well, language. He hasn't learned how to phrase it properly. No, that's right. As well, yeah, because he has another connotation. Apparently, both sides have another connotation to use in translation. Yeah, yeah. So apparently, it's it's like. Got parsing errors at times. Yeah, yeah, big, big time. Man, yeah. he doesn't uh, have he the got, best fate. Yeah. No, the best thing, the the funniest thing in the whole episode was when he turned into a plushie. When he turned into a I plushie. I think this show got it a in puppet. for JGs. They said a puppet. They said a puppet. Yeah, and, a puppet. Yeah. And, the, and the ship's cast are, oh, I can use him for therapy things. Can't you read the sign? <laughs> not a puppet. Do not pick me up. It's Do like, not it's pick like, me oh my up. God. Oh my God. Is he going to be okay? Yeah, yeah. I'll give him about an hour. We'll have him back to normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how do you even do that? Yeah, right. This is actually Q and other things. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, how do you do that? Yeah. And the, like, after watching this episode, I want to see more of the Titan. Yeah. I want to see more Riker. I want to see more Titan. I was like... That whole, like, they became best friends as easy. It was like, oh, <laughs> the only thing we got to do. So, oh, I thought you were going to be th- with me in solidarity. No, man, this place is cool. Yeah. <laughs> and that, like, that was, I like the way they solved the bon- the Boimler problem. They went oh. back to TNG and did the whole Thomas William yeah. Riker thing. And then they kind of referenced it before. I'm like, oh, yeah. no, they're not. And they, like, they did. And they take communal showers. They take communal showers. I was like... Apparently, yeah. though, they should be limiting the intensity on yeah. them. Holy yeah, crap. That was crazy. Sonic showers. Well, I, I, liked, I liked how, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but when they're in the sonic showers, mm-hmm. 
the sonic waves only cover the naughty bits. Yeah. Well, it's targeted, right? <laughs> yeah. it's, so I was like, you got 24th uh, century AI. You better, better be good at giving uh, I, me. I suppose, yeah. Better yeah. be good at scrubbing oh, them oh, parts. Are, yeah. are you, are you going to be there? Boiler always left that one empty. <laughs> it's like, because he, he had a thing against like communal nudity. And yeah. he's like, yeah. well, I'm not Boiler. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. have a showdown over who can take the most sonic blast. <laughs> oh, my God. And everybody like, else You're going to blow like, your things go. off, man. That's going to just blow the things right off you. And Riker, every time we saw Riker, he had one foot up on a chair. Yeah. Yep. Well, like, you look at his face, and I have to say it, part of my terminology, he was horny for the battle. Oh, <laughs> Horny for action, like what the hell? Yeah. Will look at your face. It was he's just like, like yeah. Blow up. He's like, yeah. Fire. I did miss the Enterprise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, man, you don't act it. Yeah, you don't yeah. act at all. Yeah, he friggin' ha. Huh? Yeah, it's like, yeah, they make it. What are you? I'm gonna name myself William. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And he goes, all right, and just take us to warp a two, a three, a four, a five. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep referencing to well, the Enterprise, they had five-piece quartets or some stuff like that. I'm just like, they make it sound like, you know, like the Hamptons or something. It was like, like yeah. classy. Yeah. Yeah. It was like classy, oh, and they were like, it was like, they had, the sh- like, they had like civilians. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. And preschools and stuff. Pre- like that. See, that's what I like about the show. They pick stuff like that apart that you see in the other shows, too, because these are writers that grew up watching. It's like, how do they do that in the mod? Like, Realistically... For the amount of times the Enterprise got into battle and got into trouble, why would there even be families aboard this right, thing at this right. time? Exactly. Oh, Holy God. moly. I mean, the ship ended with them having to take them all and put them in the saucer section. Yeah, exactly. Because it did blow up. Uh, yeah. Realistically, realistically, every five minutes, that saucer section should be separated. Yeah. Every time. And, and, and it's so funny that you never, like, you never see anybody complain, anybody, like... I would, like, if I lived on the Enterprise, and it's like every five minutes I was, like, going into the Romulan zone and, and being shot at by Klingons and, you know, all this stuff, I'd be like, man, I'd be mad. I was I'd like, are we are we on a science vessel? I thought we were on a science vessel, exploring. After, after like, the first episode, Encounter at Four, Firepoint, yeah, Picard sort of went, like, let's just get the families off this ship. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, because by like, the seven years, this unless, is dumb. Unless you're, uh, unless you're part of the uh, main bridge crew or the engineering crew, you need to leave. You need to leave. <laughs> Just get no, off. but I don't know. See, because he didn't cut out that shenanigans by the seventh season, her, his che- CMO is sleeping with ghosts and stuff. I know. True enough. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's just, it was just like, man, that's not safe. That's it's not safe what, at it's, all. It's really not, right? <laughs> you no. know, I never did understand why they had family. Like, I know it's supposed to be a, long, I know it's, a long-term it's, exploration it's, vessel. It's, it's supposed to be like a Vegas resort in space, really. No, they're trying to show it, too, because there's like little shops and everything. Oh, there's there. everything I on I get there. it. It's supposed to be like the families of the crew so they yeah. could be together. Yeah. So you wouldn't be like, oh, you're out in the middle of nowhere alone without your families. So you have your family with you. Yeah. Like, was there that many families? Do you, do you, do you not have, like, no. But, I'd be, if I was a wife, I'd be like, you getting a transfer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ever wonder if they have just ship-based holidays besides just Cat McCard Day? Oh, I would say they do, yeah. <laughs> they got oh, they to they gotta, they gotta come up with something for, like, the Cerritos. Yeah. yeah the they, Cerritos they, they has really a Cat McCard Day, but it's not for, like, the cat, ship's cat or anything. Yeah. It's got to be for, like, that guy down in maintenance who's in that, like, you know, gold jumpsuit with that black turtle like you always see the guy's just like pushing a broom or something they have like cupcakes for him on his birthday yeah. or something yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> just it, you know like it's, it, this, this show but this show well, man. They I'm, I'm kind of glad they like, don't have families on their Cerritos like yeah. what class ship is that is it California class is that what it's called no I'm trying to remember they didn't say it because uh, uh, Trek Yards did a couple episodes yeah on and, they, and they've done a whole because they ran into a sister ship previous season yeah and the, yeah they're like that whole enterprise looking Enterprise yep. D look to them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but man, they they jumped into battle every chance they got. This ship did. <laughs> every chance. Titan. Titan? Yeah. Oh my god. Every, every chance. Yeah. And poor old Boimler had no idea what he was doing. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, everybody's <laughs> like, yeah, and then they're, they're like high five and then uh. stuff, and he's like. Uh, Riker's been to Rise, uh, but for action, the ship is his dumb jot or whatever it is. That little. Statue put up in front. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Horgon, Horgon, Horgon. That's what they call it. Horgon. Yeah. Horgon. Yeah. Where was Troy in this episode? She's at home with the kids. Yeah, she would be. Do they have kids? Yeah. Oh By yeah, this they point, do. They, they, they have like Tumon two. They have, they have two like kids. two. 
Right. They did. Well, they and had to. Yeah. They have no, one but now. This is, yeah. I think this is before the positronic outlawing and stuff like that. I think this is before the whole the ju- uh, Utopia Panacea oh, incident uh, or whatever. And, okay. and what's his name? The, the, the engineer guy. He almost got his like implant ripped implant out of his head, out of his head again. again. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Just after they figured out he doesn't like pears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, it was just like, let me fix you. Let and people and like people out there on the internet oh are God. complaining about this series. It's great. It. It's not Trek. Shut up. It is, man. Like this is more Trek than It's just great. You know. Not everything it's, is seeing out in New World's new this civilizations. Is, right? Yeah, this exactly. is not the polished enterprise group. Sometimes no. it's just about man, this guy died. He had a ton of stuff. I don't know what the hell's in it. I, this is above my pay grade. You guys can get blown up, please. <laughs> they're, they're what? They did find Kalos' sex helmet, though. Apparently. I know. Yep. <laughs> yep. I was like, oh god. Oh, and he stole it. And, and then, buddy and stole it. Buddy stole it. You stole a helmet. Yeah. You set off the alarm. Yeah. yeah. Kalos' oh, sex god. helmet. Kalos' sex helmet. Oh, I seek that was awesome. glory. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh lord, the show. Oh, did you see Stargirl this week? Yes, I did. Another great episode. N- name drops galore. Name You know drops who the galore. brother she's talking about is? Oh, yeah. It's uh, Obsidian. Obsidian. Yeah. I, I don't said, know his last name. Todd what? Oh, uh, God. I usually know it. Because they were raised separately. Neither of them have the dad's last name. So is Jenny... Is that Jade? Yeah. Okay. I had to wonder. Her power is different in this a little bit because she's actually a mutant in the comic. She's born with them. Because right. dad's exposure to the ring. For, right. On both of them, that's why they have their powers. Yeah. Because in the main continuity, Daddy and the Ring and the Battery are still around. Yes. So, Todd James Rice. Yeah, Rice. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be going to be cool to see Obsidian make an appearance at some point. He'll so probably we see a, Shade. Yep. Shade is back. So he'll probably have something to do with being a Bell Shade because I think his powers are somewhat similar. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. But I'm wondering if they're getting together all Infinity Incorporated. So Albert, aka M Smasher slash Nuclon, maybe they'll find him. Yep. A couple others. This is really starting to get towards Infinity Incorporated. I wonder, because we're starting to see uh, Mr. Pemberton around again. I wonder if his car flies. His car is supposed to fly in the comics. Possibly. But now it's an old timey car. But like this is like this would be cool for flies because nothing yeah. seems very digital except for the phones. Yeah, so. like the the aesthetic of this show is really cool. Yeah. Right, because you still got that Earth 50, Two has that look to it all the time. Well, that right? does right, like that fifties feel with modern. And, technology and, incorporate it and you gotta think on this earth they were going to space in the 40s right so yep. like they had a technology leap well before regular earth and even like um barry and kara's earth or whatever the reformed resolved continuity earth yeah their technology is more towards 50s and 60s was starting to go there but they were well into the space age in the 40s and earth too and they're too and they don't seem like they're deviating much besides like making stuff fit for a timeline kind of thing but yep. besides that they're not eschewing any kind of continuity so he knows who uh, keeps getting lunch dropped off to him. What? Who? What? Uh, Our man keeps dropping off lunch. Oh, off to Solomon Grundy. Off to yeah. Solomon Grundy. Yeah. Because yeah. again, he was mm-hmm. a member of Infinity Incorporated. Yeah. Which is, I don't know if they're going to use that name. Because they use that name because the JSA wouldn't let him in. Well, I'd say I'd say because the JSA is not, not around anymore. They're going to go JSA. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be the JSA. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that's why I was, when I was watching, like, this is basically Infinity Incorporated as a series, and I love it because yeah. I was a kid and I used to read it all the time. I got one of the Todd McFarlane issues at home. Of Infinity? Yeah. Oh, wow. The one with Chroma. Okay. Who was a gender ambiguous character. Okay. They didn't know whether to refer to the the, the character as he or she. They were usually used both, so that may be the thing. Yeah. But the I, I apparently just love awesome voice. Like the, it is. It's everything great. about this show is so, so good. <laughs> I love now yeah. he's got a helper. Yeah, yeah, I can get that flame just yeah, in about twenty <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I'm like this guy's like Cuba from uh, from uh, James, James Bond, Bond, except for he probably had a moonshine still as a kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really like that. I really, really like that. that. I could put that on there right fast. Like, wow. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they're using Eclipso as the bad guy, which yep. I I mean, like Eclipso. You know who Eclipso is historically? The yes. precursor of the Spectre. Yes. Yeah. The Spirit of Vengeance that didn't quite get it. Yeah. And he went and he started corrupting souls. Well, the first young girl you see, the one that, you know who that is. Did you see the mailbox? McNutter. McNutter, yes. Yes. Yeah. That was yeah. a McNutter child. Yeah. In Chuck. Chuck's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I wonder if uh, any of the other families are going to be popping up too, like some of the. Well, like you said before, like this is really a legacy series. So yeah. I think we're going to see a little bit more of that. Well, Starman happening. has an extended family of like heroes too. Like oh, Phantom yeah. Ladies are co- his cousin yep. and stuff like that too, right? Like there's 
So maybe you'll see the granddaughter, and she's like a, a spy or something. Could be. Yeah, it's, they're, it's they're really doing great, a lot, though. right? Like they're really digging into DC's history yeah. here. So and they're showing like this is what it is. This is how rich it is. Yeah, we don't have other companies contracted to make it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Now let's let's do the same thing for like the Flash. Let's get yeah, the Flash yeah. back on track. I, th- I think they're letting some of that stuff run its course. Oh, I think so. Legends is <laughs> pretty fun. I have not seen last week's uh, episode of Legends yet, it's, or it's, Lois and Superman. Oh, oh that Superman was good Lois. too. That Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois. Lois. Yeah, it was good too. That shows really like those shows are straying away from that whole former CW aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> like Which Flash. Is Flash is essentially one of the last ones. Supergirl starts this week. The final few episodes. Final few episodes. Yep. And that show is done. Yep. So, really, like, and we don't have anything to do with Arrow anymore, and they passed on including Arrow again and stuff. So, I think after the Flash runs this course, we're going to start seeing a lot more of a fresh crop. Good. Mm. Good. I mean, DC's, DC's history has got, probably got a library even bigger than Marvel's. Mm-hmm. Right? So, there's a lot of characters you can you can really dig into with DC. Plus, they bought other companies. Outside of Batman, Superman. Well, Marvel, they right? bought other companies, too, like Carlton. Carl that, Comics. That's all, like, you know, Captain yeah. Adam and all that stuff. Yep. And Shazam, Captain Marvel. That was uh, Wiz Comics. And a bunch of others there through the 40s and 50s. Yep. They themselves are a result of two companies merging. Yes. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, that's the thing. They got so Can you things. hear us, Toby, with the microphone on? Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's like, I don't like this. I don't yeah, like no, this. No, I don't know what to do, mommy. No, he had a he had a nap. He just woke up. He oh, just woke oh, up. I wonder yeah. if that power battery did explode or shifted. What do you mean? Shifted to another universe? Yeah. Possibly. That thing probably just had a huge output and didn't know what to yeah. do. Well, we we saw that Jenny absorbed the majority of the power. Pre-crisis, that ring is constructed from a meteor from the star heart, which right. is where the the guardians of the universe of Earth-1 took most all of the bad energy and everything and magic of that universe. is why Earth-1 barely has any magic users. Stuffed the third portal into this thing in another universe. That star exploded. <laughs> one chunk and la- and landed on Earth. And so that's why that is a magically based right. battery. Right. The which they, they which they really didn't recognize, which they really didn't touch on too much in this episode. Mm. Uh, but if you know anything about the Alan Scott character, yeah. absolutely, it's a magic based yeah. ring and lantern. Has a problem with wood. Has a problem with wood as opposed to the color yellow. Yeah, because yeah. wood wood something that a lot of magic. How did she, how did she fix the kitchen? I don't know, but she did a good job with it. I know. Mm. Fix it. Yeah. Hire her as a carpenter. She uh, fixed yeah. that yeah, good. She fixed it all pretty good. I know you don't even see no score yeah. signs like it was like the night before. Yeah, the night yeah. before. Yeah. Apparently she makes a kick-ass pancake too. Yeah, yeah. apparently. <laughs> I love that person's like, it's like these are the guys like, damn it, she's <laughs> right. Yeah, she's right. All right, we are out of time. That was a fast hour, guys. Yes, it was. We had a lot to talk about tonight, I guess. Yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> so we'll be back. We'll, are you back next week with us? Yeah, Angel Sky. Okay, uh-huh. so we'll be back next week. Same geek time, same geek channel. Say good night, geeks. Good night. Good night.